<laughs> She's not after you guys. Come on now. You guys know better. Hi's a good dog. She's your good watch dog. They're like, we just want to take a bath. At least she's not afraid of water anymore. Dolly, you look like Albert Einstein. <laughs> Dolly, don't run away, Dolly. Don't run away, Dolly. <laughs> what is with the hair? Dude, she didn't mean to do that. She jumped on the barrel and you didn't see Jill. <laughs> so she jumped right on top of Jill's head. <laughs> You guys all right? At least Jem's pretty calm. This is when you know your dog is trained. Well, you got chickens, ducks, geese, and a bone. Oh, and not to mention the goats. <laughs> Good girl, Ember. You did well. Good job. Remember, you can tell them no, but you can't hurt them. You're doing good. Good girl. And the other dog has one too. They're allowed to nip and they're allowed to push, but they're not allowed to bite. She's only a year old. This way. You ain't need a bit of a crazy. Me, look at me. Bella. Huh? They look kind of mean, don't they? And honestly, they're just having fun. I bought that ball for the goats, but they're terrified of it. So, the girls had it for about 30 seconds. And managed to pop it. Okay! Just in the four days that I went to work this week, I swear to God, Little Frost has doubled in size. I just took pictures the last day off with her next to Ella. And <clears throat> you could see they were about, I don't know, about the same size. Maybe Frost was a tiny bit taller. But look at Little Frost now. She's getting out of the pen. She flies right over. She flies right over all the fences, but which is fine. I mean, the whole reason we got Frost, we weren't going to do turkeys <clears throat> at all, but the whole reason that we got Frost was because Ella needed a buddy and I couldn't find a chick. <clears throat> and we needed her to be able to have somebody to go out with when it was time for her to, you know, go out. And now look at my little Frost. She's such a big turkey. And then Ella, which was her bassinet friend, <laughs> is right there trying to figure out how in the world she keeps getting up so high? I um posted a picture of little Ella up on um, this site called Backyard Chickens. And good site, by the way, if you guys ever want to go backyardchickens.com. They have their own app. They are not sponsoring this video. It's just they have a lot of good information. But... Um, Everybody is insistent that she's a rooster. Well, I don't believe she's a rooster. She doesn't err, err, err. She's been laying in the nest boxes. She's very petite and tiny. Her dad is massive. You guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know her. Her dad is. Her dad is Sam. Which, we kept Sam. He was one of our chicks that we had hatched. Oh, there's Sam. 
Hi, Sam. That's her daddy right there. Good boy. And as you can see, like, look at his um, crop. Or not crop, I'm sorry. His crown. And then, you know, compared to little Ella's that I just showed you, is tiny. Sam and Favorella's are known for their large crowns. Even the um, hens. And Ostrolop are the same way. They have large. So, I don't know. I think it's a little girl. She's very petite and timid. And her little crown on her head is nothing. It's minute compared to his. And even his at that age. But she's got the best bodyguard in the whole wide world, huh, Frost? So here's my plan. We're still having problems with our little chick, uh, Chicken Gem. She's been staying over in the juvenile pen. Um, we're there. That's the pen that we use when chicks are about ready to enter the adult group, but not quite yet. So we put them all over here, which as you can see, there's you know fencing all around it, but they can see through. And this allows the rest of the chickens to be able to gradually get used to their presence so that they don't get beat up or nothing happens and then before you know it you can just kind of open the door and it never makes you know a difference to any of them they're just like oh huh. finally that's the easiest way so far we found to do it but with Jem, so she stays in there which we have our two easter eggers uh falcon and paraguay stay in there because they just put themselves up in there um, little Frost, which is not so little no more. Little Ella, and then Jem. But like when I'm out today working and everything, you know, I open up all the gates. Um, the goats, which there's Hatchet right there. Hi, Hatchet. Our and Dagger, little white butt, and the baby. She always follows us around. She's right there, Blade. But every time we leave the gates open when we're doing something, you know, and of course, you know, the juvenile chickens come out to run around, the turkey come out to run around, where we can monitor everything, but we get busy and sometimes we just don't, you know, see everything that's happening with the chickens and they end up picking the scab open on the back of Jim's head. Every dang time. So I think what I'm going to do right now is right now in the basement, because winter is starting to set in. And we do have the four little chicks in my room still in the bassinet. And they're not going to be ready by the time winter hits to, to come out. So in the basement, we have a full basement, finished basement down there. We're going to build a pen large enough to keep them in for the winter. And I have silky eggs in the incubator from my silkies this year. Um, yes, I got impatient. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to end up doing is we're going to take Jem in the house for the winter. And we're going to put her down in the inside cage in the basement with the babies. And then come spring, hopefully her head should be completely healed. Her feathers should be grown back in. Won't be anything wrong with her. She will come back out to the juvenile pen there with all the new babies and kind of have her own little click and then they'll slowly get integrated back into the main flock as the spring and summer progress <clears throat> I think that's my plan that'll only be the four little babies and her down there and I think that'll be fine there's windows down there and everything so they get plenty of sunlight um, they'll be warmer I won't have to worry about anybody picking on her and then as she grows with the babies, they'll bond with her. And when I put her back out, she won't be alone. And she won't be depressed because she'll have the little ones down there and they won't pick on her. And that's kind of what we did with Dolly. When Dolly got hurt and we almost lost her, we couldn't put her back out because everybody was picking on her. So we kept her inside. We ended up putting eggs in the incubator specifically for her and hatching out her own little group of chickens. And then we started letting them out in a different area at our old place. Her and the babies. She became the lead chick, which was great. It was great to see her in charge. And then eventually they just kind of 
integrated in. Now, Sam was part of Dolly's original flock. And we thought that would, you know, be good if she was, you know, bigger than a rooster. Give her a little bit of confidence in herself. And it worked out. So I think that's what we're going to do with Jim. Works so well with Dolly. Granted, hopefully this time it doesn't take a year. But it works so well with Dolly. I think that's what we're going to do with Miss Jim. Which my sons wanted to take her in for the last, you know, while. And I've been trying to hold it off. Hoping that everything would just go back. But it doesn't seem to be getting that way. So, hi Jim Jim. There she is right there. I think she's laying an egg. I think that's going to be my plan. Oh, look. Eggs. I don't know if you guys can see these. Yeah. And these are duck eggs. That's great. Two duck eggs there. As long as my dogs don't find them. Good. All right. Oh, and that fell down. That's probably not good either. As you can see, we've been adding and adding and adding um, all kinds of uh, like old hay and straw, all kinds of things in here to kind of, you know, make a couple inches up off of the, the ground itself to make sure it's warm enough for them for winter. And right now, my project, before I go do the inside cage, is I'm making a chicken door in the big door. This way we don't have to swing that great big door open. They don't lose all the heat in there. And hopefully everybody fits through. They should. They fit through the fence, so they should fit through that. <laughs> all right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share me with your friends. Have a good day. Hang on. Don't leave yet. Two seconds of video left at the end. Are you right? Are you right?